All right, in this section here, we're going to be talking about operations with radical expressions. So we've been working with uh, radicals, but now we're going to be working with some operations, and that means we're going to be adding, subtracting, and, and multiplying uh, these uh, expressions. Okay, so we always start with a fairly easy example. If I had three square roots of five, minus five square roots of five, and of course what we're doing here is we're just uh, simplifying this stuff down, and eight square roots of five, and we wanted to simplify this completely down. Well, you notice we have a square root of five in each one of these terms here, so that means that you could factor out a square root of five if you want to do it that way, but since they're all alike, what we can do is just add their coefficients. All right, so 3 minus 5 minus 8 is going to be negative 10. Then you just write square roots of 5. All right, square root of 5. Okay, 3 minus uh, 5 is negative 2, and negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. All right, let's look at another one here. If I had uh, 6 times 3 roots of 10 minus 11 times 3 roots of 10, so as you can see we have 3 roots of 10 in both of these, so this would be 6 minus 11, and 6 minus 11 is going to be negative 5, I'll write it right here. And we just write 3 roots of 10. Rewrite that part there. Okay. So this time, we'll do one that's a little bit more difficult. 5 times the square root of 12 minus 2 times the square root of 27. And plus 3 times the square root of 3. So this time what we're going to need to do is uh, break this up. We can simplify this down. So this is the square root of 4 times 3 minus, and this is the square root of 9 times 3. And of course we can't break that down anymore. So this can be broken down as 5 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, we can break that up, minus 2 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 3, plus 3 times the square root of 3. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 times 5 is 10. Square roots of 3, minus, and that's going to be the square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Square roots of 3 plus 3 square roots of 3. Okay, well, we broke those down. Now we just add their coefficients. So we have 10 minus 6 is going to be 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So this is all equal to 7 times the square root of 3. All right. What about if I had 4 roots of 32? Well, we could write this as 2 to the 4th times 2, and I'm going to write this now in exponential form. So now you would just uh, multiply exponents. 4 times 1 fourth is 1, so that would just be left with 2, and then we couldn't do anything else with this 2 here. Getting it back into radical form. 2 times 4 roots of 2. So that would be the final on that. Alright, now let's work, uh, work some with, it's got a variable involved. Alright. Let's say we had 27x 
minus 2 times the square root of 12x plus 2 times the square root of 48x. We want to simplify this down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break uh, this 27 up. We know that 27 is 9 times 3. And we know that 12 is 4 times 3. And 48, let me uh, do a little side work over here. 48 is equal to 6 times 8. Okay, we know that off the top of our head. But this can be broken down to 2 times 3. And then that can be broken down to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Sorry, too many 2's there. Okay, so we know we have 1, 2, 3, 4 2's. We've got 4 2's and 1, 3. So I'm going to write 2 to the 4th here and then a 3 and then of course we don't want to forget our x. Well, we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So I'm going to write it like this. You know, we could break this up as the square root of 9 times the square root of 3x, and then we take square root of 9 as 3. Okay. Minus, now the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. you're following me on that. I'm hoping I can get away with skipping some steps. We have this 2. I better not skip this step. The square root of 2 to the 4th. Well, remember, we can write 2 to the 4th all raised to the half power. Instead of writing the radical, write it in exponential form. And a half times 4 is 2. So this would be 2 squared, which is 4. So this ends up being 4 times 2 which is 8. Um, yeah, we're just going to put 8 here. And then times the square root of 3x. Okay. And I'll just rewrite all this. Okay, we just add coefficients now. Negative 1 plus 7 is, or 8 is 7. So all that reduced down to 7 times, or 7 times the square root of 3x. Okay. Good enough. What do we got going on next? You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and just clear the board. Four roots of one sixty two times x plus four roots of thirty two x. So we need to break this one sixty two down and what you're gonna what you should start with is how many times does two go into that? Well we know that two times um, eighty one right, is going to be 162. Um, I should probably put it in exponential form. We'll break this down. This is uh, 8 times 4. But we can break this down. This is 9 times 9. I'm going to start writing this in the exponential form here. Alright, plus... Oh, and this... Alright. Um, we want to... You know, I'm going to write... Uh, let's see, this is 4 times 8. This, well, I guess I'm just going to write it like this. This is uh, 2. We're going to go ahead and break this down. 2 times 2 
and then this a right here is going to be 2 times 2 times 2. So you know the biggest part, whoops, yeah, well, I needed to put an x here also. And it's all raised to the fourth power. The biggest part of this stuff is just factoring these things, breaking these things down. And of course, this 81, which was the 9 times 9, can actually be written, 9 is 3 times 3, and this 9 is 3 times 3. So you'd have four threes, so 2 times 3 to the 4th. Plus, now we're going to take four of these twos, and we'll have to leave one of them here. So this is going to be 2 to the 4th times 2 times x. And the reason we're doing 4 here is, is because we've got our exponent. is It's all raised to the 1 4th power. And we know that when we multiply 1 4th times 4, we're going to get 1. All right. So let's do that. Uh, 3 fourths, you know, I guess there's no sense in skipping steps at this point. Sometimes that's the reason we don't understand math is because too many steps have been skipped. need to add the plus sign there. And a lot of students that's usually their biggest complaint. So now we have 3 to the 4th and it's all raised to the 1 4th so you can multiply so you're going to be left with 3. Now I'm going to go ahead and make that jump and get everything back in radical form. Okay, And so this becomes plus 2 times 4 roots of 2 to the x. And now what we can do is go ahead and since both of these are the same now, we can add their coefficients. And so this becomes 5 times 4 roots of 2x, and that's as far as we can go. So the big part of this was is, you know, factoring the 162 and the 32. Yeah, that's usually the struggle. All right. 1 over the square root of 2 plus 5 times the square root of 2. So to get this radical out of the denominator, you multiply the bottom by the square root of 2 and the top by the square root of 2. And that's going to be the square root of 2 over. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2 plus 5 square roots of 2. So what we have now is we have a half plus 5. In other words, if I were to factor out that square root of 2, we'd be left with a half plus 5. So now we're down to, um, down to uh, solving a fraction here. So that's 10, 11. And of course, I write that 11 on this side over 2. Right, 11 times square root of 2 over 2. And all right. We'll work one that's got a variable here. Plus 5 square roots of 2x. Alright, so I'm going to rewrite this part here as the square root of x over the square root of 2. Plus, and then we'll just keep that same. There's nothing we can do with that. Now to get this radical out of the denominator, 
I multiply the bottom by the square root of 2 and of course the top we have to do the same thing and we're going to be rewriting the rest so the square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2 so we end up with the square root of x times the square root of 2 over 2 now since both of these are square roots the square root um, I can go ahead and join those and we're going to write it like this right here now we have two terms that are like and so we could look at it like this where I just factored out a square root of 2 and so now we're left with what's a half plus 5 well that's going to be 11 square roots of 2x over 2 all right, so we want to isolate this uh, radical. So I'm going to rewrite this piece here as the square root of 3 over the square root of y minus the square root of y over the square root of 3. And there's nothing we can do with that. So to get the radical out of the denominator, we write the square root of y over all right, square root of, so we did square root of y over square root of y okay if you've been keeping up then that shouldn't be foreign so to get rid of the square root of 3 we go square root of 3 over square root of 3 and then I just rewrite this part here okay so this becomes, I'm going to go ahead and join this together. So hopefully at this point, right, you know, know what I'm doing. Square root of y times square root of y is just y minus the square root of 3y over 3 minus the square root of 3y. Now I can go ahead and factor out the square root of 3y since it occurs in all of our terms. So this becomes 1 over y minus 1 third minus 1. <clears throat> and then, of course, you can join all this together in one single fraction. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So, But uh, you can go ahead and join this up if you want. But we're going to end it there. Um, You forgot how to do that, right? Get a common denominator, which is going to be 3 over 3 minus y over 3y, then minus 3y over 3y, and so we have 3 minus y minus 3y, it's all over 3y. And so that becomes 3 minus 4y over 3y. I said I wasn't going to work this out, but I guess it looks like I am. 3 minus 4y over 3y. Okay. There you go. Hopefully I didn't make any quick mistakes there. Um, I don't think I did. All right. Looks good. Okay, well that ends this and that ends the uh, problems in this section.